Hi folks, today we're here in a picturesque part of southern Austria to look at a revolutionary new technology from a company called EcoDuna, which is producing what could be the savior of the world's food industry. Basically, they're taking microalgae and making it into an industrially produced service, which is similar to other people, but they've got a couple of really, really interesting tweaks, which makes their patented production really very interesting. Okay, so here we are with uh, Franz Eminger and Martin Moore, who uh, are the founders and inventors of this amazing microalgae plant we see here patented and award-winning plant uh, we're just going to get a run through of uh, of uh, how it works don't look so nervous guys just give me the truth <laughs> Actually, the biggest difference between our technology and uh, the technologies which are out in the world like open ponds and so on it's that we can we have a closed system so it's uh, not farming anymore it's more industry and uh, we can seed and harvest at the same time. So 24-7 there is a product coming out. Our product is basically oil for feed and food supplements at the moment. What we need as an input, as a source of input is um, we need sunlight, right. which is available. Yeah. Uh, we need um, kind of carbon, so we need CO2. In our case we can uh, use it from um, power plants or for combust from combustion engines. We don't care about that. And um, we need some nitrates and phosphates, which can come from wastewater treatment plants and things like that. We also produce some, um, some, some exhaust gas. Some, our flue gas actually is uh, pure oxygen. What's the return on, on the inputs that you get out of a system like this? On a footprint of one hectare, mm. um, you can reach up to three tons of biomass, four tons, maybe with switchgrass bit more but with conventional with like conventional, grasses yeah. Or, or yeah we in in an, in an pond the algae is uh, able to produce up to 30 tons per hectare right. and we doing like uh, it depends where you erect some plant like this but between 100 and 200 tons per hectare compared to, yes. to, to wow <laughs> we just use waste energy and waste resources to feed them and to propel them could I, could I uh, hook up a, a truck exhaust and, and uh, use it? Basically, the yes. Yeah? Yes. That's Would you have to, I assume you'd have to clean it a bit? or? Well, that's the point. Yeah. Principally, yes, but if you want to have good algae, yeah. old chemical law, input, output. Yeah, so okay. clean in, clean yeah. out. Yeah. It, need, it needs to be cleaned, carbon dioxide, but of course the source could be from any other industry as long as there is no dangerous goods in it which would accumulate in the water yeah. and then would go down to the algae. So I mean, I assume you can scrub it in between, <laughs> that's even if you had the yeah. dirtiest, yeah. Yeah. That's dirtiest the exhaust. Yeah. You could use it from, uh, for, like, from the uh, biogas plants yeah. or from breweries. And a lot of industrial uh, plants, they have excess uh, of, CO, of, CO, of CO2 and uh, they don't know what to do, so they put it into the atmosphere. Yes. So, but we can put it directly into our systems and create a new resource. We get the, the fresh algae in on the beginning, so the baby algae actually, and so they grow and get old inside our system. And uh, from how long is their life lifespan? Yeah, about two weeks actually. Two weeks. In two weeks, they are ready to harvest. Right. And that means that we can harvest far more often than uh, on the field. To the fact that we go up, we have a small footprint and a lot of area uh, for the algae for harvesting the sunlight. So right, it's like yeah. a tree. A tree doesn't have a flat a surface on, 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 on the top. Yeah. It has a lot of leaves, so a lot of surface area. And we kind of have an exactly. industrial tree. Well, in the moment, we have still growing world population. And if we wouldn't throw away, we could actually feed. Nobody would need to starve. But we have a growing issue of malnutrition, even in the Western countries. So more and more people are actually dependent on supplements. Our diet by industrial produced agricultural products from monoculture don't give us all the health properties. And microalgae are the source and they are the, the ancestors of all living plants. And in some of the microalgae are the still brilliant minerals, proteins and, and fatty acids, which we all need. So this could actually end malnutrition completely. This is a really a big benefit of our system that this system is closed. So there is no evaporation. So there is uh, no water getting wasted. We have all the water recycled. So the algae live in that water. At the end, we harvest that algae and the water gets back to the beginning. So and it's getting prepared for the new algae. So this is, the, uh, the, this is what it looks like when it's very young. And 
This is what it looks like when it's much older, mature algae going up through the pipes. Here you can see a powder, that's the algae biomass we have in powder, and it's very, very tasty. It's high quality and we have it uh, from spirulina, we have it from chlorella, we have it from trachydiscus, we have also scratched ones, everything is spray dried so it has a high quality and it's very durable and long lasting and it's very healthy. But would it be fair to say that this kind of plant is, is more um, productive than an equivalent existing yes. conventional algae production? Yes, there are some different systems. Uh, the open bond systems, other, other photo bioreactor systems, and ours, I would say, is roughly three times more productive than the most productive current photo bioreactor systems are. So it's really outstanding in the performance. We developed a special uh, method where we can just put different samples in an auto sampler and it will give us a genetic overview of what's inside and then we can see very fast if we're growing the right thing and if there is no any contamination or any problem occurring. Here we are looking into different species for different products and here we are also doing our pre-breed so that means with the seeding production for our plant so we don't need to buy new seeds we just uh, multiply the seeds we have. Algae can just multiply, that's very nice. So getting more and more without adding anything. Really. We do not like to have uh, genetically modified organisms. We, it's not our business. So we just really look what nature provides for us and we give that algae the best environment and that is why it's growing so fast.